Now look at that, it's the home favourite who gets off to the best of starts. You said, don't put that much stock into it. Ernie Gavilan. is second. Yes, it's a bit of a furious start and then they start to ease off. Just to build up a bit of a lead. First is Towe Sung, then Ernie Gavilan. Just about a second ahead of Gavilan. Dang Van Kong. Almost seven seconds behind Towe Sung. Big lead already with these two. That's not what we had in the previous race. It was uh, quite close to the first 100 metres or so. But it looks like Gavilan may just have the edge here. No, nope, Toby Sung still ahead by 0.01 of a second. Very, very close. One hundredth of a second between them. So these races are from S8, swimmers who have lost either both hands or one arm eligible to compete in this sport class also athletes with severe restrictions in their joints of the lower limbs can compete in this class more coming up shortly but it's now Gavilan with the lead almost one and a half seconds it won't matter much at this point This is for swimmers with low level coordination problems, moderate impairment affecting leg function, the use of one arm only or the loss of limbs. And swimmers in this class are at almost full capacity but lack all round muscle power. That's the official classification for S8, which is what this is. Now, that lead is beginning to build. Gavilan. Let's see, that's about three or four seconds now, perhaps. Yes, it is. Still no issues, as we saw earlier. When the swimmers begin to tire, that's when things get really interesting. That final 75 metres or so. When they build that head of steam, but he does seem to be increasing that lead. It will be between these two swimmers, we feel, for gold and silver. The crowd will have to play its part. That is certainly building up now. And it could be insurmountable soon. Almost eight seconds between the two. There you go. More noise. Well, Tore Sung will have to work really hard now. If he has hopes of trying to capture gold in this race. And Warren, that's uh, gone even higher. Early Gavilan. Well, you can see he's really slowed down to away, so 12 seconds. And I think at this point, you'll have to say it's as you see it, really, unless something quite remarkable happens here. Gavilan's about to lap Bunto Munwek. Yep, he has lapped him. Torwe Sung is second in the final 50 metres for only Gavilan. By the way, Gavilan is the record holder in this event. And he will absolutely smash that. We did say that this would happen, didn't we? He's going to lap a couple of swimmers, in fact. He holds a record of 5 minutes, 3 seconds, 0 0.09. That was in the Philippines last year. Look at that. He's swung a brilliant race, a new games record as well. 4 minutes, 0 0.48. Well done there. 
to Adi Gavilan. Singapore and Sung gets a silver, that gets a big cheer as well. 20 seconds in the end, the difference between the two. But Gavilan was always the favourite here. Yeah, look at that, how much that's come down by. Almost 15 seconds, as we said, this will continue to tumble these records. So when you see the difference between the Asian record, which is 4 minutes 27.11, as opposed to 4 minutes 48.49, 21 seconds, that will come down, that gap will narrow. That, by the way, is held by Wang Yinan of China, who set that the London Olympics. Dan Van Kong gets the bronze. Waiting for uh, Boon Tom. As we are well, not too far from completing this. Let's continue to cheer on Thailand's Boon Tom Boon Wong in lane four. Here he comes. So the first uh, record of the day is broken and by this man, the, the record he himself set just last year, Ernie Gavilan. It was actually To Wei Sung who had the better of the starts, and uh, the two of them, uh, Ernie Gavilan and To Wei Sung, were level really for the first 150 meters. And then Gavilan surging ahead, that increased, that lead increased by three, then eight, then 11 seconds. And they had pretty comfortable winning with a margin of about.